Enter. Zero. Course. Minus. iPad micro. Stereo. Top. Zero. Oh three. Back. Zero. Oh four. Speech off. Well, it's nearly 12 p.m. on Sunday, and I'm cooking a fish stir fry. It's not necessarily because I care about the days of the week. I just want to cook fish stir fry. So I've cooked the rice. I'm thawing the fish. So while I do that, I'm going to do my dishes. So that'll be the last to worry about later, because um, I'm thawing the fish for 10 minutes with the microwave on low power. So, this gives me time to do my dishes right now before I start cooking. And I'm going to cook a lot of snapper with rice today. Right, uh, snapper and veggies. Today so far, besides feeling super bored, I had a good breakfast. I had two cheese and bacon rolls baked in the oven with garlic on them. I don't have any bread, so I can't have ham and cheese on bread, which sucks. Kind of sucks big time because I like ham and cheese on bread. But anyway, that's just how it is, just how it goes. Um, I'll be getting bread on Tuesday. Um, it's just how it is. While I'm thawing out my fish, because it hasn't been finished thawing yet, I would hurry up and do the dishes because when they get done, and then I don't need to worry about it later. Oh, you don't have to worry about them. Um, fish and veggies layered on top on the serving platter. That would be a great idea. Where is it actually? Where is it? Come here. Come on. I'm going to put all my rice in there because I think it's good to put stuff 
in while I have the chance to do it. So this is my cooked rice. Put it in there and then I don't need to worry about it. So My dish is done. I just have to now get the fucking food organised. I cooked two cups of rice because I love fish and rice. I love it. Absolutely love it, fish and rice. Because then I can do this dish straight away and not have to worry about it after. After. As some people say after, I say after. I don't have to do, worry about this after. That's. flatten out all this rice on the platter. There we go. Make that nice and flat. Yep. There we go. Now I can wash all this other stuff up. And it's done then. And I can do my fish stir fry. I can do my fish stir fry. And then set it up for freezing some and eating, or maybe I might eat all of it. I don't see any point in eating less when I can just eat everything. And the, bright, the serving platter will allow me to take off some of the rice off of it. Serve it into the bowl and put the rest of the dinner on it, sort of thing. Because that way there won't be too much rice in the platter, but then it will cool off nice and quickly and yeah, then it will just work. Complete. Then it will just work. these other dishes out of the road I'm going to quickly um, clean up here before I fucking start cooking otherwise I'm going to have
bits of stuff, you know, everywhere. Like it's going to be all over the place and make a great big mess. So I don't want that. Clean up here. lunch and cook some roast veggies tonight. So now I can move this iPad over here because I don't want to ruin it. Um, put this plate. Oh, I can't put it up there at all. Um, it's going to have to just sit right on top of the medications over there somewhere. And now I can put the veggies and the rice platter back over here. And I can start cooking. So, I'm going to get my fry pan out, start it on really high, like very high, like that. tiny bit left and I can chuck the bottle in the rubbish bin. That's what I can do. Tip all that out. And put the bottle into the rubbish bin because it's all finished. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Alright. First thing I'll deal with the fish. I'll deal with this first. There is an awful lot in here, but that doesn't bother me because I might take some of the bones off because it's a little um. fish fillets have we even got in here? It's all full of um, bones, eh? Come here. Okay, this is a very long... Oh, there's bones in the thing. You have to be careful of that. Very careful. Okay, it'll cook. It'll cook.
Now we're going to get the spatula. Where is it? Got it. Now, we're going to have to mess around with it a little bit. Get it to on the top a bit more. is fine with me. I'm not bothered by how much fish there is. I'm bothered by making sure it is cooked correctly in the first place. Door closed. Timer only. One, two minutes. Start. Timer only. Two minutes. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Then I'm going to carefully flip it all over. For like just fried fish on bread, you need to cook one or two at a time. But I'm just going to make a whole heap of stir fry veggies with snap. them in right away because they're frozen. So, just have to undo this thing. Since you don't put the marinade in immediately, you sort of wait for a bit, then you put the marinade on. Just a few more. 
Okay. Forcing it to happen. I'm making it happen. There we go. Oh, mongrel. I'm gonna have to chuck these in the bin now. But hey, they serve their purpose for one more dump and I'll get some new twist ties out. Okay. Now, tip all this over again, yet again. Tip all this over yet again. marinate over the actual top and just let it soak through. I have tipped my, I don't even know what flavour it is, but it will be very yummy. Almost, well, most of the cooking marinades are very nice with cooked fish. And everyone will say, oh, I'll cut up your fish. It's like, but I don't want to cut up the fish. I want to have big slates of fish filled in the stir fry that you scoop onto your plate and you have rice and you have to use a knife and fork to cut it. So what? Who cares? Just 
take a listen as it heats up for a couple of minutes. Take a good listen. This is what it sounds like. I won't put my iPad too close to the pan because it will bugger up the iPad. So you can hear it bubbling now. I have to start turning the pan down and, you know, um, simmering it so I don't burn the bloody thing. Sort of like turn it down a bit so then I can flip this whole thing all the way over again. Hang on, I don't want to get it out of the pan, but I have to be able to flip it over without killing it all, without, you know, making it impossible to finish cooking. And you turn it down and it prevents the sauce from burning into a crisp. There we go. It's going to take a long time to cook now, but it'll be good when it is cooked because I can now have a whole heap of rice with this. justice at the moment. stove is shit. It doesn't have enough heat in it to actually cook it properly in the first place. Bloody stupid stove. Not enough heat in it. Need to turn it up a bit because not enough heat to finish cooking the fish right through. Bloody bastard. I had the snapper fillets cooking for 15 minutes too, but obviously that mm, stupid fucking stove didn't work. If I was using the gas stove, it would have been cooked by now. The gas stove cooks food so fast, and you've got to turn the flame down 
because otherwise it gets too, you know, it burns everything. It'll, you know, gas is really hot. It'll set everything on fire when it's lit up. <laughs> you know, but electricity gets crap. Personally, I don't like electricity. I think it's shit. I think it's honestly really crap. I think it's honestly extremely shit. So it's going to take me nearly two hours to do this. It's going to take ages to do this. Ages! the rice is cool now. It's nice and cool. Very cool. sit for a bit and turn it over I think. Because frozen veggies take forever to cook as well. They take a long time to cook. A really long time. Bloody stupid stuff. Because they're snap frozen. It takes 10 minutes for the frozen vegetables to actually get hot. Oh it takes a fucking long time Just letting it heat through because it's having a bit of trouble. 15 minutes, At 24 moment, seconds remaining. Trouble. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. Yep, turn all that over. Mm, come on, turn over. There we go. Yep. Turn that over, pick all that up and turn it, yeah right, it won't let me pick it up, it won't let me turn the fucking stuff over, there we go, there, there we go. Finish cooking it because it's. Come on, move that back. Now it's getting hot. Now it's getting very hot. Now it's working. Now it's working good. It's working good now. This is the noise of fish very nicely cooking. It's cooking beautifully. Now it's taking a while because the fry pan's full. But I'm not doing a quick stir fry. I'm doing a whole heap of vegetables with my fish. Tonight I'm doing roast carrot, roast pumpkin and a bit of roast potato with 
complementary to this, I mean complementary to this meal, then I can have a bit of lunch leftovers tonight and some lunch leftovers tomorrow. Sorted. Come on, just there. Turn that up again. Oh, it picks it up and then it slides. up there. No, yes. And then tip that over. There we go. There, that's good. There. Now I've got vegetables going all over the dinner plate here. All over the stove. At least I've got most of it kept in. Probably would have been easier to just strip the fish into little bits, but you know, I didn't want to go through all of that shit, so I didn't. Nine minutes, fifty seconds remaining. So, yeah. Um, my fish will be done in probably fifteen minutes, I think, because it will take that long to cook it. It'll take that long to finish cooking. I have to leave it on that side for another couple of minutes. It's going to take another 10 minutes to actually finish cooking it. take a while. Gonna flip that up again. Right, time to flip it. There we go, that worked this time. <gasps> Ouch, that burned me. Ouch, it's hot. Ouch. Gonna flip it all the way up carefully. And yeah, it hurts when you do it, but you know what? There is vegetables everywhere, all over the stove now. It's all over the place and I cleaned up before so I can just pick it all up and put it back in there. But, you know, I've got stuff everywhere. I have got stuff all over it. There we go. I'll put it back in there. Oh no, yeah. Get all that off back in. Cooking. 
Everything is a messy fucking business is what it is. It's a fucking messy business. Now I've got to wash my hands with soap and water again. Mm, got food everywhere. But that's what happens when you cook. It is very messy. Very messy. It's going to need another few minutes after it's finished. After the microwave has finished its timer, it's going to need another minute or two to finish. It's nearly done. Almost done. Almost. Almost. I love cooking. I love cooking so much. Love it. She is nearly almost cooked, not quite, but almost. That seems about right because I started cooking nearly an hour ago, so that's okay, that's about right. That is about right. No, because I pick it up but then it slips off of the actual thing. Tip that. Yep. There we go. Oh, I absolutely love big slabs of fish fillet in my food, and I can cut it up with a knife and fork easily. Yep. 
everyone was like, you must be civilised and cut the fish. I'm like, no, I don't have to be civilised. I can use a knife and fork, thank you. Don't treat me like a baby. If I don't want to cut my food when I cook it, I don't have to cut my food when I'm cooking it. I'm not a fucking child. No, I can't see when it's cooked, but do you know what a microwave and talking synthesizers and iPhones and Siri and that is for? Yes, maybe it might be the solution to what I can't see. Set the timer and maybe it will work out. Don't set the timer and there might be problems. So I set the timer. I always set a timer because then I know I don't fuck up my food when I cook and then I don't have to be treated like a baby because I'm not a fucking child. I can't stand being treated like a friggin' child. <coughs> One minute, 38 seconds remaining. minutes and we will be done cooking. Complete. That's okay. That is all right with me. I'm going to do another one Time more. Only. Oh. 15 start. minutes just Time to make sure only. that I haven't, you know, tried to get food poisoning. <laughs> oh yes, I'm cooking so that I can get food poisoning. <laughs> no guys, please shut up. If I wanted food poisoning, I wouldn't even be trying to set timers and saying, right, because there's large slabs of fish, we're putting the veggies in straight away because then it can cook together and all this bullshit. And you know, I could have cooked them individually. I could have rolled it in flour and all that. Flour and seasoning to make sandwich fish, but I didn't want sandwich fish, I wanted stir fry. So once again, not a fucking baby, I'll cook how I want with my um, cooking skills that I was taught from God dogs Queensland because I'm not a friggin' child. <coughs> At first you have to do children's style cooking because kids kids start from the bottom of the ladder. People who can't cook when they're grown up have to cook the way kids cook because they've never cooked properly before. So the people who can't cook do sadly have to learn like children for a few months until they get good at cooking, like I did. And now everyone can stop babying me because I don't need to be treated like a kid with cooking anymore. It's just not necessary.
safety really isn't that necessary anymore. So I'm going to serve some of this onto the rice and some of this into a oh, I'm going to serve some rice onto a plate now. So now I'm going to do it. I'm going to put some rice um, onto the plate. Where is the plate? I'll put it down somewhere. Mm, fuck. I have to put some rice on the plate. Some rice, I love rice, so make a nice bit of rice. It'll be nice and cold now. It'll be nice and cold. There we go. Now while well, it's very flying fucking hot Gonna let it cool off a bit, it's gonna be way too hot to even touch right now. Too hot to even move. Put a little bit on this plate. Where is my plate? Oops. Just got fucking everywhere to wait. Just got it almost all over the place. Got a whole heap of vegetables too. Need a bit more fish. I love fish. Okay, and then chip the rest onto this flaming fucking thing going where it belongs. Because when you cook slabs of fish, it breaks up as the heat gets to it. It gets all cooked and it gets all broken up, which is what happens. You don't have to cut bloody stuff. 
you do when you're learning to cook but not when you know how to cook you just let it fix itself that way I can see yep there's heaps on there I can have a bit more on the plate if I want I've got lots on there got lots mm. yum Put some vegetables on my plate now. How can anyone not eat bloody veggies? Because I love them. Yum. Whole scoop of vegetables. Now I can just take the frying pan. Scoop all this fucking stuff down into it. Then with that, or we want to stop. That's not going to help. There. Yeah, that's enough. Still no. Didn't get all that stuff. Sink. I've got most of it. I've got most of it, that's good enough. I've got most of it. Make sure that all goes in down into the thing properly, not just everywhere else. There we go. And then that can settle in. Then I can start washing the other dishes. Right up. That is my cooking done. Stop, I hope pause, everyone stop, will stop, enjoy stop, the recording because it is already smelling and it will probably taste just as beautiful as it smells. Yum. I'm going off to sit down outside to eat. I'll talk to you soon and let you know how it went.